Hello friends, I'm Chi. Yeah, greetings to you all wherever you may be listening. Okay, today we're talking about subsidiary permit, okay? Permesso di soggiorno per motivo di subsidiaria. Yes, when having this document, two things are to play in. Finally, two kinds of documents you'll be needing like a passport. One will be relevant at a point and one will not be relevant at the point so what are we talking about and which is the easy way to apply for this particular document the passport all right i will tell you so that you not fall into trouble at all and when you need it you will not be saying oh had i known i should have done it long ago okay if you're here for the first time why don't you subscribe because here you get information so like this that could be true in form of data transformed information is power if you know you know and if you don't still know you don't know but with chi surely you know please 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 put the like for chi man just to show me love all right to my old and new friends thank you very much you guys are always the reason why i'm still here bringing it to you guys back to back yeah the things you should know that will keep you out of trouble all right spread the gospel of chi share to whatsapp and also on facebook Thank you very much. Okay, now for most of you who are having the subsidiary permit, okay? Now, listen. Most of you get it and you just move on with your life. Like you just disappear, you know, go to another city or region. Now, without knowing that you should at least get the Titolo di Viaggio. Okay, that's the name. Titolo di Viaggio. Now, most of you have already gone ahead to apply for your country's passport. Well, I usually say, since you can renew it with your titolo di viaggio, why don't you wait until the questura asks you to go and get your country's passport? That others have done it, others went ahead to get their country's passport, and nothing happened. Yes, questura used it to renew for them, no problem. The questura is so nice. But only you yourself, within you, know the kind of story you told them in the commission. So... If you listen to another person who said who says to you, don't mind them. Me, I've already gotten my passport. Look at it. I have subsidiary. I've renewed with it. You know, Kwasura did not do anything. Do you know the person's story? Do you know the kind of story the person told in commission? Whether it's so dangerous or a risky one that involves his life or threat of life or imprisonment? You don't know the kind of story he told in commission. So why will you allow such a person to brainwash you and say, go ahead and get it, no problem, forget about them. They are talking trash. So, well, since you know yourself better and your story more better, that is why you should not go for your country's passport when you are issued the subsidiary permit. Now, what you go for is called Titolo di Viaggio. Titolo di Viaggio, traveling document, okay? Titolo di Viaggio. Now, where do you get it? How do you apply for it? In some places, as the moment they are trying to kind of thumbprint you for your permit, the subsidiary, they are also thumbprinting you also for the Titolo di Viaggio, like two in one. They give you the two at the same time. But in some places, Questora just issue you only the subsidiary permit. Now, they are waiting for you to come and apply for the Titolo di Viaggio. Now, the right place to go is not the CAF. The CAF cannot help you do that at all. So you have to go to, well, maybe some CAFs can help you in some areas like that but in most cases it's better you go to questura and tell them hey i have subsidiary permit so i want to apply for titolo di viaggio you can show it to them because some people don't even know the kind of document they are having <laughs> yes some people have asilo they think it's subsidiary some people have subsidiary they think it's asilo so you show them your permit so that they can use it to apply them do the production of the titolo di viaggio a passport most of you call it a un passport but it's like a it's a document a traveling document so they will give you all the requirements all the requirements needed to apply for it so you have to now go and get them most of them are like your resident certificate which you can get from your commune the anagrafe section and also lo stato di familia which you can still get from the anagrafe section of your commune then also your um, if you have your house contract, get it. Yeah. Um, for passport photograph, like a photo, you have to go and take photo. Put for passport photograph, but you have to give it to them when you get there. Then they will tell you to buy a kind of marca de bolo. Yes, this marca de bolo is expensive. So you have to buy that marca de bolo. So I think that is it. But listen, laws change. I'm just telling you what I know for now and um, in my own area. But in your own area, Questora, it could be different. That's why I said go to them. They will give you the list of what you need to bring. And also appointment date will be stated there. They will tell you bring it so-so-so day, maybe two weeks time. 
then when you get it you bring it to them everything complete then um they will now use it to um thumb print you and then tell you within 10 days or 20 days in my place is just 10 days 10 days is out you know very simple so that is it you have your titolo di viaggio with you because the worst part of it is when they give you your subsidiary permit you do not even request for the titolo di viaggio you just disappeared maybe go to another city where it was not them that issued you that permit that is where you find it difficult to apply for titolo di viaggio in the new city where you are and especially when the city laws does not allow using of hospitalita to renew document or apply for titolo di viaggio so that's why since you are here in your city now where you got this subsidiary permit to be nice that you get everything there the titolo di viaggio because now you are still having your residence there your city there allows you to use hospitalita to apply for these things then go ahead and do it now before you start thinking of migrating and listing you will still be needing the titolo di viaggio when you want to travel to any place you know um, out of italy maybe on other european countries you will need it because in some places the police or the police that will stop you at the train will request to see that document the passport if you don't have it it will be a big problem especially when you when you want to board your airline or ship you'll be needing you need to show them these things too or travel out of italy maybe back home to your country um you need visa like i used to say when you want to go to africa asia depending on the country you want to go to you need to apply for visa whether online visa on arrival you know if you can go to the embassy you can run it there but i told you if you need to run these things you don't know how to do it contact chi even booking flights i will also put you through on every detail of it okay so that is it so at the point you'll be renewing Maybe the first renewal, they will still use the same titular de viaggio and renew for you. Yes, and also issue back the titular de viaggio. You must always request for both of them to be renewed at the same time. Okay, so next renewal, they could equally use the same method to renew for you. But at a point, Questura will ask you to go and get your country's passport. In that instance, that time, that material time, please do not be afraid. Just go to your embassy and apply for your country's passport and bring to them so that they could finish up the processing of your sojourno, that's the subsidiary, okay? So don't be afraid. Don't, they are the one who sent you, to, to sent you there so they know what they are doing. So that is it. So remember, in all this video, what I'm just trying to point out is that the Tolo de Viaggio will be needed at a point in time and also at a point in time they'll be asking you to get your passport your country's passport so you should know that so when you have your country's passport you can now use it to travel direct to your country if you so wish mm, if you so wish you know your story okay but if you don't want then you can do whatever you want anyway you want to use and um that's all for now i remain yours ever truly chi remember to show me love like my video share to your friends on whatsapp facebook that's it. Titolo de Viaggio, go to Questora and apply for it. Titolo de Viaggio for subsidiary holders, go to Questora and apply for it. I'm out of here, man. I'm Chicha.